This is a pigeon bottle. It's a Japanese bottle specifically designed for babies to nurse with cleft palate. It's available through Children's Medical Ventures on their website at www.childmed.com. Um, that's the only vendor that we're aware of in the United States. When you open the bottle, you'll see it has a cap and on top there is the travel insert, which we don't need. And then it comes with the special nipple and the adaptive valve. Inside the bottle are the instructions, which are in Japanese. So we're going to tell you how to use this nipple in English. And then inside there is one more nipple and one more valve. There's the valve. The valve is an essential part of this feeding system and we'll show you how to use that. This bottle really works best with its own collar. It doesn't interchange with other collars well. You're going to insert the nipple in the collar and pull it until it comes all the way through. And then you're going to insert the valve. If you look on this side, there's a point if you look on this side, it looks flat. But when you poke that little point, you'll see that it opens. It's a one-way valve, and the opening, this flat side, goes into the nipple and is pressed down with your thumbs. When the nipple is aligned for the baby, there's a notch that aligns with the baby's nose. And you'll notice that the top of this nipple is hard and the underside is soft and that's what's key. When putting the nipple on the bottle you have to make sure that you don't over compress the nipple because the vent will be collapsed and the nipple won't work properly. So you want it on snugly but not too tight. When you tilt the bottle you'll notice that no milk enters the nipple because of the one-way valve. But as soon as the baby applies any pressure on the nipple you'll notice that milk enters in the chamber and all the baby has to do on this nipple is to chomp and milk will be expressed. No suctions required. Babies with a cleft palate have no suction. They can make suckling movements with the tongue and they can compress but they can't suck to extract because there's an opening between their oral cavity and their nose. The pigeon nipple is a fairly fast flow nipple and as a result it may not work for very young babies or preemies but within the first three to six weeks of life they can trade from the other traditionally used um, bottle the Haberman feeder to the pigeon and they should be able to handle that flow rate without too much difficulty. Sometimes while the baby is feeding You'll notice that the nipple is compressing and that it's not releasing. And if you notice this, you may need to loosen the cap. You do want to watch while the baby's feeding and see if you see bubbles entering here because as sometimes if the baby is chomping too softly, they may not be able to get the milk out. So you want to watch for bubbles coming into the chamber right here as the baby feeds. If you know about the pacing technique where the baby has the bottle in his or her mouth and they're sucking and sucking and sucking but then they become overwhelmed, it does no good to pace by tilting this nipple out because any compression will still get milk out of the nipple. So if the baby is being overwhelmed by the flow, you actually have to take the nipple out of the baby's mouth. When you're ready to disassemble the nipple, one of the benefits of this nipple is that you can unscrew it and the milk won't flow back. All you need to do to get the milk out of the tip of the nipple is to pry that one-way valve out and then you can pour the rest of the milk back into the bottle. So some of the questions about babies feeding with cleft palate is how long should they be using a specialized nipple like the Haberman feeder or this one, the pigeon nipple. Um, they will need to use an adaptive nipple as long as they have a cleft palate. 
Uh, after they're repaired, the doctor will ba make recommendations as to what nipple they would like the baby to use what, during the healing period. And after that, they'd be able to use any type of cup or nipple that they would like.